Aloha. Thank you for tuning in to the Organic Hawaii YouTube channel. I normally don't wear a mask, but since we are going to be applying this diatomaceous earth, I'm wearing it because diatomaceous earth is basically like a natural pesticide against critters like roaches, ants, and other kind of bugs that have semi-hard shells and semi-hard bodies. First of all, what, what is it? Let's open up this diatomaceous earth. It's all organic, all natural. I just got this recently. Oh, okay, better put my mask on. You don't want to be inhaling any kind of dust, that's why. Okay, let's open this up. See the dust already flying. So this is what it looks like. Basically like a fine white powder. And it's all natural. It's made from exoskeletons. So basically bodies of ancient little tiny critters. And over time it became, they turn into dust. But when you look at it on a microscopic level, I can't even touch it with my hands. When you look at it on a microscopic level, it's very sharp, especially to little bugs. So when a bug like a roach or an ant crawls on top of it, it pierces their body and they end up dying from dehydration. And that's the end of it. So it's a great natural and organic solution to take care of those roaches and ants and other bugs that you don't want bugging you or your garden, okay? And it feels like it has a consistency of talcum powder, but it's not the same. And um, this one is OMRI listed, means, meaning that it's approved for organic use in organic agriculture. It's also uh, FDA grass certified. But to me, what matters most is that it's OMRI listed, which is great. And apparently, well, this one is food grade, meaning you can take it internally in appropriate doses and you can feed it to uh, your farm animals like horses chickens etc i'm not sure the deal behind that is but i think it kills the parasites inside of them but in this case we're using it in the garden to protect our plants from critters like ants etc because ants they can colonize inside of your pots inside of your garden beds and it can mess things up for your plants so applying it is really easy so first of all wear a mask so you don't inhale it second of all i use this right here it's basically a tea strainer very simple tool okay let's do it so this is the area one of the areas that we're going to treat and you can see the ants crawling. They have been colonizing some of my pots here. And they have colonized some bigger pots as well. They lay their eggs inside of the pots, inside of the soil, and they make it worse for the plants. So let's apply it. Ideally, you want to do it on a day that's not windy and you want it to be dry as well because when diatomaceous earth is wet or when the surface of your soil is wet, it's not really effective. Hey, look, it's snowing. It's Christmas again. So I'm applying it all around, all around, including areas around the pots just any area that the critters can crawl on top of basically when the soil is wet or moist it decreases the ability of diatomaceous earth to be sharp so that's why you want it to be dry as dry as possible and the reason why you don't want it to be windy is obviously because you don't want this stuff flying all over the place. Okay. 
some of this just in case all over and I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out for yourself see if you want to try it but I've been using that stuff for years and it, it works great you can see the ants right there I applied it and you can see the ants struggling with it already they know it's not good for them they know it's sharp but they shouldn't be messing around in my plants either they should go find another house see they don't like it but you can tell there's like ant problem because there's there's holes you know ants they dig holes in your pots and then they end up living inside of your plants and messing them up so ants are not necessarily a garden's best friend but on the other hand ants can pollinate your cucumbers but at the same time they create these other problems so sometimes people hand pollinate their cucumbers to go around that you can tell it also affects other creatures like mosquitoes and these flying insects like the one that you see in the middle of the screen it's already struggling to do anything just kind of tumbling over uh, after five minutes of application it's trying to fly but it can't all right, so I just finished applying diatomaceous earth to my garden plants and it looks like it's a white Christmas. Here's the lemon balm, almost unrecognizable. Eggplant. So key takeaway, don't water right after you have applied diatomaceous earth because like I said earlier it's most effective when it's dry and wetness will decrease its sharp sharpness it will decrease its effectiveness so don't water after it you have applied it and don't apply it right after you watered it so apply it in between your watering thanks for checking us out aloha